Okay, finally, video number five or so. I don't keep count. Uh, the air conditioning on this one, I told you I was gonna show you how this works. So this is for the variable displacement control compressors. Right now you can see it's shooting for 88, 89, so probably around 90 plus. Uh, this is trying to drive the compressor because I just started it up and I'm calling for minimum temperature. So it's displaying because I have two wires connected. One is going to the compressor and the other is coming from the control module of the HVAC unit on the car. So the signal is going through here and we are just reading what is being commanded to the compressor. And here are the pressures right now, 27, 179. Temperature out of the dash is 44. So, ah, damn, I just lost the cap down to the floor. So let's, uh, let's turn this down to minimum fan speed. Very little load on the system. Now let's see what percentage it will go down to. Let's see if we can see this move down, if it will move down. Will you move down? Oh no, you actually went up, you went up. Oh, you went to zero. Right there, it just went to zero. And you can see, oh, it went down for a little bit. Oh, and it just came back on. So now it's going off and on and you've seen the high side pressure start to go down and um, I have it at minimum fan, oh there it went to zero again. So right now the compressor is spinning inside but it's not having a high displacement, it's being commanded with very low displacement. And we'll see, a sig there it goes, the signal just came back. Now we're at 60, 70, 80s, going up to 90. Because I have very little fan load, I have it in a recycle mode. So it's only trying to cool off already cooled air in the cabin as you can if you look over here at the pressures and temperatures i don't know if they'll focus in for you so now i'm going to put it on the warmer outside air and full fan speed and you'll see this stay up all the way and you'll see the high sides uh soar so let's uh go put this system under a load we're just reading i'm not commanding right now so let's take it off of recycle high fan speed. So now there'll be a high load under the evaporator. So right now we're commanding maximum. And you see the high side will stay up here longer. And you see because I have a heavier load over the evaporator, the low side pressure will go up. And this is gonna stay, you'll no longer see the compressor be commanded to lower its displacement on the swash plate to bring in the stroke because it's under a high load. It's trying to uh, cool off the cabin. And so it has full displacement right now. So now let's take over and I can't command it any more than this because there's a safety built into these. They don't let you go 100%. Here, we just, it was commanding right at 90 plus. See, I can't go any higher no matter what I do. So let, or let me go to the manual mode. So now I'm gonna go into manual mode. It went to zero. See where it says zero? Look at the high side pressure fall. See the high side pressure fall and the low side pressure is going up. That is because I just switched over to the manual and it's not allowing the car's computer signal to go through and give the duty cycle Think of a fuel injector. Fuel injectors are controlled by duty cycle. It throws a duty cycle to determine the swash plate. So now I'm gonna manually override that. Watch the pressures. Can you guys see the pressures? Uh, I'm gonna see if I can focus in a little bit so you can see both. And you're gonna see my finger go up on percentage. There we go, 29%. Barely anything is happening. That's not enough to do anything under the load it's under. Let's feed it a little more. You're seeing something happening right there. The high side's going down. Uh, the high side, the low side's going down. High side's going up. My eyes are bouncing all over the place. 
Now I'm gonna feed it a little more. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna make this displacement go a little more so it swashes more so those pistons can stroke more. So here we go. Let's go up to 60. There we go, we're 60. See that low side going down? High side going up. You'll see the temperature inside the cabin come down. Now we'll go up to 80% because this will not allow me to go to uh, 100% or 80 some percent. Now we see our high side is going to the maximum for the stroke that this unit will allow. It doesn't allow, they have some sort of safety in there. They don't want you playing with it higher, you know, going to 100%. So you see how easy that is? You can literally command the pressures up and down. Let's go, let's go over here. So you guys, some of you guys like looking at a set of gauges. So can you read that? So watch the high side and low side pressure. I'm gonna bring it back down. I'm coming down, I'm coming down, down to 50. See the... I'm gonna come down some more just about basically kicked out almost. I could hear the load on the engine dropped off. Now I'll go all the way down to zero. There, now the compressor is basically off. It's still spinning because this is a clutchless compressor. There is no clutch on here, but the displacement is no longer making a high displacement. And eventually the high side and the low side will nearly equal because that is, here's the compressor. And this is the valve in the body that I am commanding to change the swash plate on the inside while the compressor is the clutchless type that continuously spins no matter what. All right, I gotta get off to the next job. I can't play no more on this and uh, that's it. I'll see you guys on the next one. I hope this was uh, a little more informative for you guys because uh, this tool has been around for over a decade I think they came out with these, I don't know, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, 15 years ago about. Uh, I remember when I was back at Max many, many years ago, and I seen some of these in Europe on a website and a, a European air conditioning magazine under a different name. It looked different, but it did the same thing many years ago. But you could build one for about $20 uh, in discrete parts and put it together yourself. 555 timer the moth has few few resistors a variable resistor and it's basically something kids make in grammar school all right guys i'll see you